Sachs, and he says Obamacare is good for the economy. Why is he saying that? Well, he says because of the subsidies, money that flows to poorer people and then out into the economy, good for the economy. Beating Obamacare author Betsy McCoy is with us on this one. You want to take this on? Goldman Sachs well, says it's good for the economy, and you say what? That's right. Well, Goldman Sachs is parroting that long discredited Keynesian theory that if government provides food stamps, welfare benefits, unemployment benefits, that it will put money in people's pocket and they'll spend it. But history proves that that does not elevate the economy. And in fact, the real culprit in Obamacare is the employer mandate. Companies are sitting on their cash rather than expanding because they don't want to hire. Okay, They're hold on a second. Now, you've shot down the Goldman Sachs thing. Okay, got that. Now you're referring to the employer mandate. That's right. And the as law says... Okay the, okay, the law says... That employers with 50 or more full-time workers have to provide this costly set of Obamacare benefits or pay right. a penalty. Right. So employers have shot away from adding to their workforce they're pushing their workers down to part-time status this employer mandate literally in anticipation of it in the first seven months of 2013 77 percent of new hires were part-time we've never seven, seven, seen that okay that's so, uh, that's bad for the economy bad employer for the mandate. economy now right. hold on a second i was reading this morning, actually, is it the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation? Yes. Now, they used to be gung-ho for oh, Obamacare. Yes. They wanted it. Clearly, big advocates for Obamacare. And they have come out this week with a report begging the administration to repeal the employer mandate, which is a key part of this law. And they admit that once it's repealed, if it is repealed, that, of course, this law will no longer be paid for because employers provide most coverage for most people in this country. So you, also, so you can't repeat it. It also meant less than 1% of people uninsured will lose their insurance, uh, insured people will lose their insurance. And also... That's incorrect, however. I want to I mean, point but out. that's what they're saying in their report. Yeah. But also what I thought was amazing is they say this whole thing is really hitting the poorest workers' heart hardest. This whole employer mandate is killing people at the lowest level of uh, But if you've got this organization, which used to be gung-ho for Obamacare, now turning around and saying, you've got to gut this thing, you've got to get rid of the employer mandate, that's a huge turnaround. A huge turnaround, and it gives lie to the idea, the claim that this law is paid for, because as they remove more of the controversial portions billion? of it, less and less of it is paid for. They claim billion? it will cost $46 billion <laughs> over a decade. What do we get Back, it from now? The number is at least double that. Okay. <laughs> One more for you. I was reading just yesterday in the Wall Street Journal, in Virginia, they're posting the premium prices for next year, 2015. And Anthem, for example, with 110,000 customers, their average premium increase is 8.5%. Pretty hefty, but much lower than it would be without the the uh, premium bailout in this law. Section 1342 of this law says that in 2014, 2015 this year, and 2016, the final year of the Obama administration, insurers can actually price their and it's lower than the price they would need to cover their costs, and the government will come around to the back door at the end of the year and hand them a bag of taxpayer money. Hold on. Did the government hand them a bag of taxpayer money at the well, end? Well, they're just calculating now what they owe them. They're be, still they will be paid. Oh, yes. You said will they will be paid. be paid at the end of this year. That will be paid at the end of this year and again in 2015 and again in 2016. So the really big hikes will occur once that, impl that uh, premium bailout is over. You really don't like Obamacare. Do you? I mean, I mean, you're on this program very free. You have you any? Have you got a good word to say for it? Anything good? Yes, I think that we okay. should have a red, white, and blue plan with no deductibles and premiums for vets, so they can escape the Veterans Administration and get it get privately provided care. Well, we're going to save that one for that because that's a pretty good that's idea. Betsy McCoy, as ever, thank you very much indeed. Appreciate it. Uh, Congress.